Uh, what, from your perspective and Cadence's perspective, what makes a good PCB designer? A good PCB designer? Yeah. Because, uh, you know, you talked about methodology and the process and how it's going to change. You must have some opinion on, you know. What... Oh, I have opinions. <laughs> um, what makes a good PCB a designer? A PCB designer. Um, you remember I said a special kind of stupid, and I was being facetious on that, but it's actually true. You need to have special person that can do the work. Um, they need to be able to put their head into a puzzle. These are just big puzzles. They are amazingly fun puzzles. Um, so backing up a designer, you've got to be able to get into your head and be in the design. And you they literally, I used to have an alarm go off about every two hours. Otherwise, I wouldn't move. My wife would, when I was working from home, she would walk in there and say, it's, you haven't moved in six hours. You really need to get up and do something here. <laughs> Designers do that. You get into this zone. The music goes on. And you get going. And it's fun. You get lost into it. Um, Designers are gamers. Um, a lot of them do the gaming and stuff like that. Some of them, but we're, come from all over. One of the best designers that I know, um, we used to call him La Machine. Um, he was a lawyer. Oh, and, interesting. Uh, yeah, he was uh, one of the cleanest, best designers. Uh, amazing gentleman. Absolutely amazing gentleman. Um, and, uh, but they come from everywhere. So what we look for in a designer really is, can you sit and do this? And can you solve the puzzles? Can you communicate? Because a lot of the times the communications, um, one of the current the, um, best designers I know right now, Marine, is uh, <laughs> at Rocket. When I ever had any difficult customer, no, give them to Marine. Marine would be able to handle them, communicate with them, and make them feel good and control them. And it becomes a part of your the how you work with everything. Um, also, I look for designers that want to learn. Don't just tell me what to do. That's, when you get told what to do, you're a CAD jockey. You're not a designer. Why? When they ask why, hey, what does that do? I don't know. Let's go figure it out. Wait a minute. Why is that power network not working? Why is this not working? Okay. Wait a minute. How do I do this simulation? Can I do the simulations and don't don't deal with this SIPI guys? Yes, you can. Here you go. Here's licenses. Rock and roll. Learn. Never stop learning and never stop asking why and always pushing it. How do you make it better? Those are the kind of people that are looking for. Um, and if you want a challenge, it's awesome. It doesn't matter what your background is. Literally, it's pretty much all on the job training. There's a few places out there that will teach you. But um, it really is something that you learn on the job and just finding a good place to go is where it is. But there's positions. Um, they're not hard to come by right now because we have a – one of the things about PCB design right now is the uh, there's a bunch of us retiring. So I'm – there's basically two generations we skipped. We got the guys that are 50, 60 years old that have been doing this for 30 or 40 years. They're retiring, um, and they're leaving the field. And then you've got the third, the 40s-somethings, 50s, don't exist. The 20s and 30s do. And so we kind of skipped a generation, and then almost a generation and a half. The 20s and 30s is I watch them coming up, and they're impressive. They think differently. Um, they're used to having multiple inputs. They're used to looking at things differently, looking it up on the web, figuring it out. Um, it's kind of a different breed. Um, the old designers, we've been doing this for a long time. It's like we get a little stuck in our ways. Uh, this is the way I do it. The young ones don't know enough and haven't learned the bad habits that we have to make things happen. And I'm saying that tongue in cheek because we all have the bad habits, but we always want to learn more. But, yeah, those are the kind of people I look for. No, it makes sense. I think, uh, you know, some of the things that you said are good for life lessons, too. Yes. You know, being inquisitive, asking why, yes. um, not resting on your laurels, and, you know, being proactive. I think all those are, are really, really good.